I love plants. I really do. The reason why I have this uh, money cost amount today is because plants are like growing money. Because think about how much food costs in the store. You can grow your own nutritious food. Plants do so many things. They clean our air. They convert carbon dioxide that we give off and give us oxygen that we breathe. Plants give us medicine. They make our world beautiful inside our homes and outside as well. The list is endless. Really, without plants, there'd be no life. So today, I'm going to teach you how to germinate right in your own home. Very, very easy way to do it. And there are many, many ways to germinate seeds. Germinate means to get that seed to come to life, to grow. And I'm going to do a pepper. And the reason why I picked a pepper is because peppers typically are filled with lots of little seeds. And when the pepper plant grows up, it's a beautiful, beautiful plant. Hey, let's get started. So we're back here uh, with our pepper. Remember, if you're working um, by yourself, be very careful, especially if you're a, a younger person, you might want to get an adult to help you out with the cutting part because this can be kind of challenging. So I'm just going to cut down right down the middle of my pepper plant. Now that I have it cut down the middle, I'm, ooh, I do have some seeds in there. So I'm going to take these seeds out for right now. And all I'm going to do is get a, a wet washcloth or wet paper towel. And I'm going to put those seeds in that paper towel. And then I'm just going to fold it in half, kind of separate them. I've got five or six. Some peppers will have many, many more seeds than that. So I'm just going to fold it in half a couple times. And then I like to reuse things. So I just have a, a, a Ziploc bag that's from sunflower seeds that I've decided to reuse. It helps the earth to reuse things. And then I'm just going to put this in here and find a nice warm place. And then I'm going to come back in a couple weeks and check to see how those seeds are doing. While the plants are germinating, I decided to try this uh, new hair formula and something else germinated too. So we're gonna keep on working here with my new hair. I feel just so much better. Um, let's check it out. Let's open up our bag and see how, we're, oh, I'm so excited. This is a big event here to see how the plants did after a couple weeks of growing. What's in there? Hopefully something. Oh, wow. Look at, we've got one, two, th four plants germinated. So what we're going to do next is I'm just going to put these off the side. And I love to reuse things. These K-cups from some of my friends at school uh, are used to, for single-use coffee. And then they just get thrown away. So I think of all sorts of projects with my uh, green team students to put these back to use. One perfect use is taking these little plants carefully and we're gonna set them in here. I've already got some soil in there, and then we're just gonna put some soil around the roots. And we'll be very careful to do that. After we do that, we're gonna set it in a nice sunny place and let it continue to grow. So I'll be put packing some more soil. Well, as scientists, we like to be very organized and gather data and label everything. So I'm gonna put my pepper label right on my little cup here. And then I'm gonna put a cup this cup, because there's a little hole for drainage there, so the water can drain out. I have another reuse container from a, a yogurt uh, that we used. So we're gonna put that in there, and again, in a sunny window in a nice warm place and let it grow. And in a couple more weeks, it will look like this. Eventually, we'll have to transplant it into a bigger container, or maybe by then, it'll be warm enough uh, to put it outside. So I hope you enjoyed germinating uh, seeds and growing plants. There's so many things you can do. Try apple seeds, orange seeds, any seed you want. Grow plants, have fun.